Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. We're going to get started with your love reading. What is going on? Look at you, Aries. Are you going to the beach? Are you at the beach? Are you planning a trip to the beach? The sun card, the happiest card in the deck, is showing up in the recent past for you. There is something. It's almost like she's saying hallelujah. <laughs> Let the sun shine in. Look at currently your energy is not taking action yet to make a decision. It's time to make a decision. The decision this person is looking at is having more fun in their life. Surfboard, VW wagon, and a globe. So travel again. It's um, You may not be able to do it yet, but it looks as though that's what's in the works right now with you and your significant other. Nine of coins, you are feeling very good about your life at work. It looks like you're having a lot of success. You're getting noticed. People are really paying attention to the fact that you bring so much to the table. When we look at the fact that she has this beautiful bird, it really makes you birds of a feather are not flocking together. You stand out on your own and you are really shining very brightly right now, Aries. All right, so let's see what the energy is for the way you are viewed in your love life and by the people who care about you. <laughs> they feel as though you've become kind of quiet, Aries. This is Pisces energy. You're, the people around you who care about you feel as though you're, you're looking at things differently. You're a little more introspective. You're not in a rush to do anything. You're thinking about something very seriously that you have on your mind. You do want things to work out with a love partner. For some of you, you are feeling as though you'd like someone from the past to return. Temperance energy means that your partners, the people who are attracted to you, and specifically the partner with whom you came to ask about, is in this energy of wanting to make things work with you. Temperance, balance things out. They might be a little more angelic right now than normal. Temperance is usually the Archangel Michael. Okay, let's see. We have the Strength card and the Seven of Cups. You're finding that in partnership right now that not telling your partner what you want works in your favor. When you make them guess at what you want, you sort of get a better deal. I don't know how else to say it. But, you know, you're such a giving. You, Aries, you are so giving. And it looks as though you're really standing in your power. You're letting them second guess you. You're letting them, you know, you're really allowing them to have the opportunity to make a good choice in your relationship. And I feel as though with this Eight of Swords and this Hanged Man, you know, your this relationship is sort of hanging in the balance. You want to be happy. You intend to be happy. Um, but you're capable of being alone, too. And for some of you, that is a consideration right now. All right. What is hidden? Ooh, you want a victory. Victory. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, victory. You want recognition. You want people to recognize your contribution. To, look at this. This is beautiful. Six of Wands is Leo energy. So is the sun. So you're feeling very proud, very fiery. You know your value. You're very much in your power. You have the strength to hold out for what you want. You know, you might not be making a decision right now. It looks like you're uncomfortable with making a decision, but you're on the right path. What is spirit suggesting? Ooh, manifest. Ooh, Taurus energy. Spirit is saying that you should choose somebody who brings value into your life because you give so much radiance and value out. It does look as though we have a partner here who didn't always necessarily move forward in a strong way, but it looks like that's happening now. The Empress card is manifestation, my friends. As you know, 
the Ace of Swords. That is reconciliation, reunion, seeing the truth for what it is, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And, you know, what I'm seeing here is that the truth of the matter is, is that with your partner, you have a lot of ego clashes. That's your outcome. It still is the outcome that seems to be causing you trouble right now. You're intuitively trying to figure out why. Why are there so many ego clashes? So let's look and see, delve into the, your energy again. We're going to clarify the cards with your energy. Then we're going to look at your partner's energy and see how they view the situation. And then we'll end with some oracle cards. Okay. A lot of cards. Okay, so you always felt as though when you first met your person, you felt as though they were your best friend. You felt as though they they like attention. They were steady. Oh my goodness, I would actually say that there were there were troubles at the beginning of the relationship. You probably met online. But it does look like this person has a continuing theme of like liking attention. Making you feel as though you have to compete. And Aries never competes. You are numero uno or you are, you know, choosing someone else. All right, so let's see. Why do you feel like you shouldn't make a decision right now? Well, you want the Taurus King to make the decision. You want the Taurus King to bring value. Ah, you want the Taurus King to take all the right actions to move the two of you into the future. You know what you want. You are waiting to see if they can actually come forward. And the answer is yes. Your person is very much, honey, I'm home. If you're not living together now, you will be. And I have cards that flew out again. They are going to make a romantic offer to you. The sun card indicates that that offer may be somewhere on a vacation. It could be somewhere near warm weather, but it makes you very, very happy. The justice card also is telling me that there's a very strong vibe of balance. You may be talking about getting married. I, you know, we'll see. Do you want to get married? Well, You'd have to have about three more years under your belt, I think. For some of you who are anxious to get married and have children, that could be three months. But the way I'm seeing it is for those of you who have already had children, for those of you who already are mothers, you're going to take your time. You know, you're not in a big rush. You just want what you want. And it's all good. I like the, the reading. The hanged man. Yeah, you are totally confused why your person causes drama. You do not understand it at all. Pisces energy. They keep secrets from you. They hold back from you. The nine of cups, you know that they love you. You also know that they owe you an apology. <laughs> Fives conflict, Poly apologies, fives are all, always about fighting or conflict. So we have the, the five of wands, five of wands, five of cups. Okay. Your person, again, you are not taking action. You are going to let them figure out how they feel. You're leaving it to them to figure out the problems in the relationship. You are not going to be codependent with them. They are on their own to find balance with you, to do the right thing with you. You know, if they can't start coming clean with you, if they can't be a little bit more on the up and up and more grounded, more balanced, you're just going to let them sort of, you know, it's like a, a speeding car. You're just going to let them pass on the freeway. You're going to say, okay, well, whatever, whatever you want, because I'm Aries and I know what I bring to the table and I know what I want. I know what I'm going to do. I love it. Okay, Aries, why is this beautiful Six of Wands a victory here? You stood your ground with someone. You're very giving, but you found out when they were sneaking around, this person is sneaky. 
I get this all the time in the Aries reading. I don't know who you're dating. I don't know who you're with. But this person really loves you and they don't look like a bad person. But it's like they have secrets and they keep them. And you know that they have secrets. And you probably even know what the secrets are. And you're curious as to why they do this. Like why keep a secret that's not a secret? <laughs> all right. So why is... Why is the Seven of Swords here? Three of Swords. So the secret is about their relationship with somebody else. Who is that person? Somebody with whom they used to be married. Ooh. Tell us why. Ah, Ten of Swords. So I really want to emphasize that what I'm seeing here is that your person is not trying to have a... They're not trying to be the lover to the person that they were once married to. It looks like they could be Facebook friends. It looks like they could be friends. And it really annoys the hell out of you. You see it as um, a stab in the back. And here's the thing. This person that they were married to betrayed them, married someone else. <laughs> oh, I'm just... I'm I'm laughing and it's because it's like, you know, like when you fall and you laugh before you go, yeah, I'm okay. The only thing hurt is my pride because this is painful and yet you are so okay. Look at how victorious you are. I'm, I mean, sort of almost like laughing at this other person because they're being all sneaky deaky as if you don't know. That's what's laughable. It's like you totally know. And they I even get the feeling that they know you know. And yet they persist. Eight of Wands. Well, they love you. You just see them as a person that needs a lot of attention. Yep. But you know what? You would be very comfortable leaving this person. As much as you love them, as much as you manifested them, there's something. Yeah, see here, right here. I just said that. Releasing. You know, Spirit is saying just release this person be yourself you'll manifest whatever you want but it's also just you know just letting it go letting some of this nonsense go yep you're very cerebral you're very intellectual you're very balanced this is a queen of swords a king of swords you've looked at this from every angle and you are not going to involve yourself you're just going to go forward with this person and let them try to figure out all this kind of weirdness that they bring around you're not partaking of the drama love without drama is your choice here that is what you're choosing and the two of coins says that you know you will consider leaving if they continue that would definitely be something that you are considering doing and that when the time is right you would leave if you feel that that's the thing to do and what is the secret that you're keeping as an outcome? It does keep you up at night. It does bother you a lot more than you're letting on. You, you're keeping that a secret. And I will say this, though. I will say this, Aries, is that this is Sagittarius energy. If someone came into your life, if another lover comes into your life that you feel is going to be more honest with you, somebody who is very exciting because Aries needs excitement, that your person may be bringing upon themselves competition. The competition that they created through nonsense may make them lose you long term. So let's look and see what your person thinks now. So we see your story. It's very, very clear. So let's look and see how this person views your relationship. And we're going to go back to the original cards. So the sun card. Clarify the sun for Aries person, please. Yep, they had a new beginning with you. They felt it was bright. They feel very much still in the recent past that you're the best relationship they've ever had. They've never been happier with anyone as they are happy with you. Why is the two of wands here? The lover's card. They see you as their future. They see you as their soulmate. This person has probably said that to you in the past. You haven't, look at, there's no other soulmate card I have in any of my decks, of which I have many, that has a guardian angel here. 
<laughs> this person must have a good guardian angel because for the nonsense sometimes that they've pulled, you you know that they haven't really cheated, but it just feels raw emotionally. You feel as though whatever this is, this is this is emotional cheating. You don't really feel like this person's out, you know, with somebody. The Three of Swords energy. See, they know what you think of them. They won't talk about it. They try to brush over it. But your person really does know that at the end of the day, you do not need them. They also know that you know that they talk to these other people or this other person. Okay. Why do we have the hanged man here? Ace of Wands. Your person wants to take you out of that energy of being undecided. And let's see why the temperance card is here. They know they owe you an apology. Five of cups, five of cups. But they aren't giving one. Ooh, this person, that's not wise. They feel divinely protected. Angel wings, angel wings. Why is this person so... This is kind of arrogant energy. The fact that they feel so protected. Why does this person feel so protected that they don't have to apologize? Ten of swords. They don't think you have anywhere else to go. Well, Aries always has somewhere else to go. Queen of Pentacles. They feel as though right now you don't have enough uh, wherewithal financially, but they do think that if push comes to shove, that you would have a place to go. You're the Queen of Pentacles. So there are people around you that you've nurtured that would certainly invite you into their lives. <coughs> Excuse me. So, but this person thinks that monetarily you're not where you want to be. And so why is the Strength card here? The Emperor card. So this person feels, this is Aries energy, this is you. They feel as though you have a lot to say to them that you never say. They feel as though they better be careful because you have the strength to leave them. You're very balanced. But this person does feel like you have the upper hand in this relationship. You are definitely quote unquote boss lady because you're spiritually so pure. You don't do anything wrong. You're emotional. They see you as super sexy because there's a sweetness about you that they've just never found anywhere else. And this person's life, they've never known anybody like you. They've always sort of dealt with people who are, you know, sort of not so honest, not so kind. And that's all they seem to know. It looks like a childhood problem here. All right. The Knight of Swords is how they feel in terms of your or the Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I said the Knight of Swords. How did I say that? Okay, so the original card was the Six of Wands. That's you being victorious. The Page of Pentacles is they know that they need to bring value into your life. And the Page of Pentacles tells me that they, they also think that you're very successful. They certainly feel as though you could leave them in the cold they certainly feel as though Knight of Swords. Wow, okay. I did say that, that's so weird. So the Knight of Swords says that sometimes you lash out at them and you let them know that you could be on your own. They're trying to study the situation to see how to be successful with you. Why is the Empress here? You are their rock star. You're the rock star of women, you're the queen. There you are, the Aries queen. They have fire in their belly, belly for you. They are not going anywhere. They are sticking close to you. Joined at the hip if they had their choice, Aries. Joined at the hip. <laughs> and your outcome with this person at this time is you're going to stay single. You won't marry them. They know that you don't want to marry them. This person is still getting to know you. They don't seem to know you as well as they should. 
and the world card. So they want to be super successful with you. So, you know, they know that they, but they have, they're closing their eyes here to the fact that you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They're ignoring the fact that you have all of these sort of feelings about behaviors that they exhibit and that they know that that's why you're staying single right now. So let's look at whispers of love for you and see what the message is from whispers of love. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Well, I see that as your person. I don't see that as you, Aries. It's very clear that your person needs to be more loving. They're playing too many games. They play mind games. The heart of the matter. There is more going on than meets the eye. Recognize what this is all about. Well, you seem to know what it's all about. Leave comments below on what is going on for you personally. What is it that goes on? Now, when we look at the Three of Swords, I will reiterate, uh, this is oftentimes family members, you know, a best friend. Uh, so the Three of Swords, and it, it could be a spouse that they're still friends with or a lover. Please leave the indication below in the comments because I would like clarity on that also. All right, sending you love, Aries. Take care. Bye-bye.